hello students yeah we will see the next bit of second chapter reproduction in lower and higher animals is the female reproductive system female reproductive system of human being consists of number of paired and unpaired parts paired there are two paired structure which is the primary female sex organ called as ovary there are two ovary means this is paired structure then two oviduct this tube like structure called as fallopian tube or oviduct it is also paired then single uterus or ovum and single vagina these are the four internal part of female reproductive system the other are the external genitalia and accessory glands here we will first see first organ is the ovum ovary is primary female sex organ like male testis is a primary sex organ in female ovary is a primary sex organ and produces ova or egg or it also produces hormones hormones there are four types of hormones secreted by ovary estrogen progesterone inhibiting relaxing these are the four hormones secreted by ovary here what is the structure of ovary it is small oval shaped or almond shaped structure it is small oval or almond shaped structure its size is 3 cm in length 1.5 cm in width and 1 cm in thickness means the length of ovary is 3 cm its width is 1.5 cm and its thickness is 1 cm means size of ovary is 3 into 1.5 into 1 cm it is almond shape and this is the size it is smaller than the testes when it is situated ovaries are situated in the abdominal cavity in the pelvic cavity just below the kidneys kidney cha barobar khali abdomen mane kashi ch position hai ovary these are present in the abdomen not outside the abdomen like the testes testes are extra abdominal but ovary is present in the abdomen because egg production does not require low temperature so ovaries are present in the abdomen these ovaries are suspended in the abdomen with the help of large peritoneal layer peritonea is the covering of coelom is the covering of body cavity this peritoneum covers the body organs this whole peritoneal cord which connect this ovary to the dorsal body wall as well as it connect ovida to the dorsal body wall as well as it connect uterus to the dorsal body wall it is the large layer which connect ovary ovida and uterus to the dorsal body wall and this layer peritoneal layer called as mesoovarian then another ligament this ovary is also connected to lateral side of the uterus this ligament are called as ovarian ligament these ligaments are called as ovarian ligament on both side these ovaries are connected to uterus with the help of this ligament called as ovarian ligament means ovary suspended in the abdomen with the help of these ligament this is long muscular tube arises from ovary and open into uterus this long muscular tube called as oviduct or fallopian tube its length is 10 to 12 cm it is not directly connect to ovary but it opens into uterus its proximal end not directly connected to ovary distal end directly open into uterus this end of ovida proximal end it have the finger like processes called as fimbri and 
this opening called as orifice which is surrounded by this finger like projection and internally this ovida lined by ciliated epithelium which type of epithelium are there ciliated epithelia pick up the ova into the ovida from the ovary the release of ova this ova is pick up into the ovida because of the ciliary and fibrillary movement because there is no direct connection between ovary and ovida so this ova pick up by the fibrillary and ciliary movement this ovida is then divided into three parts this proximal area which is funnel like this funnel like structure called as infundibula which have opening called as orifice and which is surrounded by finger like projection fibrillary this is the proximal end in contibula and middle middle straight long muscular tube called as ampulla and the short tube which open into the uterus called as isthmus what is the function of in contibula it pick up the ova what is the function of ampulla it is the site of fertilization ova is a great for fertilization sperm ejection takes place in the vagina and sperm travels up to the ampulla here a is present this is the site of fertilization so sperms beat their tail they have the uh, movement they are motile for reaching up to the ova because ova is non motile human 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 ova is or egg is non motile but sperm is motile which reach up to the this oha because ampulla is the site of fertilization then with the help of this short tube this thermus it opens into uterus uterus is nothing but a muscular large sac pear shaped sac like structure but inverted pear its end or uh, mouth is downward means inverted pear shaped sac muscular it is hollow and thick called as uterus or ovum this uterus it is very important organ it divided into three part again its dome shaped structure this dome shaped structure called as fundus where implantation takes place means baby is attached placenta is formed and baby is attached here means implantation takes place at the site of fundus as attachment at the site of any place but mostly at the fundus then this middle portion called as body and this narrow tube called as cervix this dome shaped portion called as fundus this middle large portion called as body and this sh short neck like tube called as cervix internally uterus consists of three layers the outer layer called as which is made up of peritoneum the outer layer called as perimetrium the middle layer which is made up of smooth muscles which is thick and muscular called as myometria because it is made up of muscle so called as myometria it causes the forceful contraction it causes the vigorous contraction during child birth called as labors minor labor and major labor okay means this myometria help for birth because of this vigorous contraction of these muscles these muscles are smooth muscles. in our most layer called as endometria this endometria means mucosal layer stratified mucosal layer its thickness is changes from 1 mm to 5 mm thickness then this endometria it is the site of menstruation endometria is the site of menstruation menstruation because it is highly supplied with blood vessels this endometria is nothing but the stratified muscles it consists of uterine glands screw shaped glands uterine glands are present screw shaped uterine glands are present in this endometrium this uterine glands secrete uterine milk which 
that says the uh, earlier developing child of uh, blastula. Then this during menstrual cycle, end of menstrual cycle on 28 day, this endometrium become break. This high vascular layer become break and bleeding next place. Means this endometrium is the site of menstruation. It is the site of implantation. And this endometrium give nourishment to the young one. This developing young one develop where up to gestation period, nine month, nine day here in development, then birth. Here during the development, during the gestation, this endometrium nourishes the fetus or developing young one. Then this cervix is short and neck like only 2.5 centimeter length tube which is high muscular internally stratified mucosal epithelium and it have two openings one opening which open uterus called as external os and one opens into the vagina called as internal os os orifice external os internal os this is the cervix cervical cancer is occurred to this cervix and uterine cancer is occurred to this endometrium is the vagina fourth part is the vagina vagina is the female copulatory organ which is near about seven to eight centimeter long it is muscular short tube which open on vestibule the short open on vestibule with the help of opening called as vaginal opening or vaginal orifice. This vagina open on vestibule with the help of this opening called as vaginal opening or vaginal orifice. This tube internally have mucosal epithelium, stratified non keratinized mucosal epithelium. Internally lined by stratified non keratinized epithelium which consists of glycogen and uh, in this region there is a bacteria which uh, fermented this glycogen and lactic acid here produced this is caused the high acidic condition in the vagina so there is a no microbial infection to this opening and this acidic condition also kill the uh, sperm so uh, semen have calcium and bicarbonate which neutralize this acidic condition. This is for safety, for defense. This stratified non keratinized epithelium or mucosal layer consists of glycogen. This vagina internally have the vaginal ridge. Number of vaginal ridge internally have the vaginal ridge and opening this vaginal orifice or vaginal opening partially covered by a mucous membrane called as hymen mucous membrane which break up into the first population it is present in the virgin female here this is the female reproductive system this vagina externally made up of muscles, smooth muscles and internally lined by stratified non keratinized mucosal epithelium. This is the internal organs of female reproductive system. Paired ovary, paired ovary duct, single uterus or ohm and vagina. These are the four parts. This female reproductive system Describe in detail female reproductive system. This question is asked for four marks because it have four organs. Description as well as diagram is required there. Then we will see the external genitalia of female reproductive system. Ovary structure, internal external structure. We see in detail in next lecture. Here we will see the external gen female genitalia. Like male, there is a two external genitalia, penis and scrotum. In female, there is also external genitalia called as vulva. This vestibule is nothing but a D 
deep depression called as vestibule this is called as vestibule deep depression this depression have two openings anterior side and this posterior side this anterior side opening called as urethral opening and this posterior side opening or below urethral there is a vaginal opening or vaginal orifice means this vagina open on this vestibule or below and upper side there is a urethral opening urethra is open here urethra is the part of excretory system in female excretory system separate and reproductive system separate but in male excretory system male reproductive system joined with excretory system joined to urethra here there are separate opening urethral opening here and there is below there is a vaginal orifice or vaginal opening this depression vestibule covered by a small skin fold lip like structure thin skin fold called as labia minora this thin skin fold which cover this depression this thin skin fold called as labia minora upper side we have a point to it there is a loose skin called as prepuce and here there is a small structure erectile structure called as clitoris this clitoris is nothing but the erectile tissue structure like the penis one mark question asked for board exam or in for neat or ct what is the homologous organ equal or equal organ in male reproductive system for clitoris there is a penis or glans penis in the male is equal to clitoris because both give excitation give excitation during the copulation because they are made up of erectile tissues and this is covered by a skin fold called as prepuce then this also covered by a externally covered by a large skin fold called as labia majora this large skin fold this is small thin skin fold my labia minora this is large skin fold called as labia majora this labia majora is homologous to scrotum this labia majora is homologous to scrotum and this clitoris is homologous to penis then this is the external genitalia then we will see the gland accessory gland there are two small p like structure small glands on either side of this vaginal opening these glands are called as vestibular gland this is called as vestibular gland this is equal to corpus gland because in male it secrete mucus for lubrication and in male in female this vestibular gland secrete mucus means it is homologous organ in male and female vestibular gland and corpus gland this is a single accessory gland present in female which is connected to female reproductive system another gland is also present called as mammary gland and above it there is a large uh, fatty tissue structure which is mons pubis is called as mons pubis